key. Okay. You know, you've got to keep so your costs down. So Atif, you know, I think you, we're, get, we're getting bombarded with so many callers <laughs> right now because you said that special offer. Oh, and I, I think I'm going to have to twist <laughs> Munir Zarm as well and ask him what is he going to offer us as well. Sure. So I'll take a caller and we'll sure. carry on with that question okay. from Mohammed as well. Assalamu alaikum caller. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, I think we've lost the caller. So, Okay, we'll, we'll move on to the thing. So you're saying about you know, basically doing a bit of research and mm -hmm. having that savings. Yeah, um, and um, you, you've got to have the idea or you've got to have enter into a business, not because you see other people, uh, you know, being successful at it. Mm -hmm. You've got to really uh, do the research. You've got to know your market. Mm -hmm. You know, you just can't enter it because, you know, you've seen X, Y, Z doing yeah. it. Uh, a bit like uh, <coughs> Munir, you know, he had a very successful textile business. You had the T-shirt printing business. Mm -hmm. And that was doing extremely well, and mm -hmm. I see Munir doing really well, mm -hmm. and the market's dying off, and I tried to copy it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. I tried doing T-shirt printing all of a sudden, just That's next right. door to him. That's right. What's going to happen? He, he's going to move on. He's going to sell his business because the market's now saturated, mm -hmm. and now I'm not making money. So mm -hmm. you could make a big fatal mistake if you just imitate other That's people. Right. Yeah. You got to innovate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's any right. any other piece of advice as well? I'm learning a lot from you. Um, no, it's, uh, it's very good. So we, all learn, we should learn from each other. I that's think it. that's a, that's the support that we need. But um, mm. um, you know, I, I think we've said it all. But really, you've got to you've got to plan it. You've got to mm. be ready for for uh, hardship. Mm. Um, and if it comes easy, it's mm. you know from 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 Allah. You yeah. know that that this was made easy for you. Yeah. Personally speaking. Um, I had the ideas and I started the business without mm. sort of you know knowing what's going to happen. Mm. But you know, thanks God that we had uh, mentors like Munir mm -hmm. and other fam friends and family. He's the godfather of business. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the founder of business center as well as it's a nice exactly, community yeah. in there. Exactly. Mashallah. I'm nothing. No, <laughs> so no, you, you, Inshallah, you. Are. So support is is vital. It support ah. uh, friends, family. Mm -hmm you know, uh, get the right people, mm. employ the right people. Mm -hmm. Now I can proudly say that I've got a very good team yeah. and, uh, you know, thanks to them as well for all mm. their hard work. Uh, not naming any names, otherwise, mm. uh, you know, uh, they will be... We'll uh, take their permission next time you're on <laughs> yeah. and mention names. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really interesting, it's really exciting, but the question I have for you, and maybe Mohammed also wanted to ask that question, I mean, did you start the business by yourself or did you have you know, family support, or you had your friends with you in the beginning, or can some, you know, effectively the question I want to ask is, can someone start a business just as a one-man band? Yeah, is that I possible? would say yes, why did not? You, you know, that's that's the, the way I, I did it. I, uh, you, did had you, your ideas. wife's not involved, you don't have brothers, sisters uh, in the business? Not you? in the business, no, just right. as a support uh, in the background. framework, yeah, but uh, the idea is the, 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 the decision mm -hmm. to go for business, yeah. go for it. That was all down to myself, you know, okay. and um, you have to have some kind of drive and energy as well, yeah. and vision, uh, mm. and you've got to be patient. And the key thing is patience, you know, mm. because there's going to be a lot of things thrown mm. at you. There's going to be a lot of challenges, mm -hmm. and uh, it's very tough out there, especially I in the recession. Yeah, people are unemployed. So that's even double. That's like double impact because most businesses they don't mm. make money no. within the first year. Some no. some businesses break even after eighteen months or two years yeah. Yeah. in business. Mm -hmm. So they you know directors they really can't get any drawing for two years that's right. effectively until the business starts to pay for mm -hmm. itself. Mm -hmm. So it's not as easy as like you know just press a button, start a business tomorrow, and you'll be making more money than you're earning Never. from a job. No. <coughs> so, uh, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm still not making this, the good same money kind of to, that, to that, in that, that I was uh, from from your director four years position. ago when I was uh, earning uh, yeah. at director level. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but eventually it will actually take over because yeah. now yeah. Yeah. you're the you're the owner, mm -hmm. and That's effectively right. you dictate where the business goes. That's right. Alhamdulillah. So, uh, Munir, you, you were telling me about a few points of advice during the commercial. So well, the advice is that I think that, that, that we, uh, we Muslims should try to interact with each other, mm. and I think that is a very vital thing, mm. which we do not. Uh, I think that is uh, very important. My message to you know the viewers is that uh, they should, uh, you know, try to mm. help each other and uh, 
mm -hmm. interact and buy from each other. Yeah, so we, we should all <coughs> learn from each other. We should create a network or, you know, and gel together and share each, uh, you know, advice to each other. So on that note, I'll take another caller before we lose the callers. Okay. All right, Salaamu Alaikum caller. Salaamu Alaikum. Alaikum Salaam, brother. How are you, brother? You okay? Alhamdulillah, I'm doing fine. What about yourself? I'm fine, you It's an excellent show, brother. Everything's yeah, going really well, and um, I hope this program goes really far. Inshallah. We need more, more Muslim brothers and sisters to reach out to the Western market because we need Islamic, you know, brothers and sisters to go out there and, you know, be uh -huh. the next bridge of brands. So, you know, we need that. Yep. Because it's, it's our, you know, it's our time to show yeah. what we're all about. Yeah, we've got two Richard Bransons here. <laughs> no. even, even more handsome, I think. Wish <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, brother. The um, yeah. thing is, I'd like to ask you, um, you and the other two brothers there uh -huh. um, today, um, what advice would you give to budding entrepreneurs of success spiritually in Islamic way? Okay, that's a very, that's an excellent question as well. That's a brilliant question. So uh, we had brother Imran. They told me the operator just told me. And he was asking, like, spiritual way, what what kind of advice can we give them from a spiritual point? I mean, Muhammad, he was talking about, you know, practical advice, how to start a business or how to motivate himself. But now, this brother Imran, he was saying, right, what kind of advice spiritually? Do you have any piece of spiritual advice? Well, uh, <laughs> it's a very difficult question. Yeah, it's, it's difficult but, uh, question. I think uh, it's uh, your near mm. has to be very clear, mm. and mm. you should, uh, you know, work very hard in in, mm. in anything you do. Mm. Yeah. Even if you are working for somebody, I think it's uh, it's the work. Hard work is very yeah. very important yeah. in mm. in anything if you want mm. to be successful. It's much more difficult now in this environment mm. with the recession, and mm. I think there's a lot of uh, yeah anti-Muslim uh, feelings as well, so That's right. I think uh, we have got uh, to work twice as much. That's right. You know, I, I heard this rumor, I don't know if it's 100% true or not, but I heard when you initially started your printing business, you had a lot of uh, companies approaching you to do printing, but they were all haram. I think mm -hmm. one of them was Guinness, and you turned That's that right, down. Yes, absolutely. They were just down the road from you, and absolutely. they wanted, you know, like their printing, no, to printing and you said, no, no, no. And you, at that time, you needed the money, didn't you? Exactly. You needed the business, and absolutely. it was a big company. I mean, Guinness, wow, everyone knows about a company, <laughs> especially the Irish, they know all about it, yeah? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you said, no, no, I'm not going to do that. And that's actually very, very interesting as well because what I realized from my experience and I don't know you can, you guys might share into that as well in the beginning always the haram opportunities approach you always you know you get the opportunity of like you know selling something that's haram or haram product or you get some haram finance or the bank offers you this loan it's very attractive interest rate and you like yeah I need that money I need that 10 grand to, that could just mm. that's like a buffer Except and you can accept it and then you're start mm -hmm. going down but what I found if you just hold back and say you know if that money is written for me I'm gonna get it the halal way absolutely and you just mm -hmm. hold a little bit just wait that just wait maybe a couple of days or a couple of months and you'll find exactly that money coming to you exactly the same amount it's gonna come to you because it's written for you but in the halal way and you'll feel more peace inside that you haven't mm -hmm. uh, angered Allah so for the viewers you know just have that patience you know and have that confidence and belief in Allah you know uh, especially to you, Brother Imran, you know, just have that confidence in Allah and know that if it's written for you, you'll get it. So don't uh, deviate and don't be tempted by any sort of uh, opportunity that, you know, even if you need the money, just, you know, say no to it and have that confidence in the Creator. I think that, well, that could really... Very well put. Yeah? Mm. Yes, absolutely. Yes, very good. So, uh, right, yes, any, any tips that we can give the, the viewers, I mean... The, we talked about research, we talked about, uh, you know, the saving for the opportunity and, and find out exactly how much it costs and you know, any, any other piece of advice that we can give them in starting a business, you, what, what other thing that can benefit the viewers out there, someone wants to start a business, anything? I, yeah. I, think it's, um, I think it's really important to have a mentor. Mm -hmm. As well, just to so have it's guidance. really important to have a Munir yeah, around. Munir. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blush. The mentor is the prophet. Well, yeah, yeah, of course. course. He also course. did business. He's an example. He did yes. business yeah. as yeah. well. Yeah. 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 We, we all take inspiration from <coughs> the Prophet mm -hmm. and the Sahaba as well. 
you know, Abu Bakr Sadiq, uh, mm -hmm. Osman bin Affan as well, big businessman. Yes. You know, 